The Bachelor Canada's Morning After Chats on BT are brought to you in part by Skinny Cow Delicious Milk Chocolate Dreamy Clusters. Oh, let's dive into the delicious scintillating episode that was the tell-all last night, Bradley. The women tell-all, or as I like to call it, the women rip on Tim. Yeah. And themselves. And themselves. Um, so Natalie was first up in the hot seat, and uh, she had She's a, the teacher she, from she, Toronto. She, the teacher from... Um, around uh, here. Around Toronto. But she had a, a, an omission that kind of put the girls off kilter a little bit. Take it out. One of the main reasons why I wanted to come back was to kind of stir the pot a bit cause a little bit of drama. I knew for sure Tim was not into me, but I came back to... <laughs> is any... Is, 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 now, you know it's yeah. bad when you shock the Lisa, supposed Lisa. villain of the show, <laughs> the redhead Lisa. When you have Lisa <laughs> reacting. But this is the thing. I think... She, she came off the worst last night, Natalie. I, I think it wasn't her, her intention to. I think in her head she thought that was going to come off a lot... Better? A lot better. Uh, I, I don't think she thought that she was going to get the reaction. I, I actually, they schooled that teacher. They were like, excuse me, you're admitting to coming back on the show just to stir the pot when we actually love the guy? Some, That's even worse yeah. than coming back because you wanted a second chance at love or closure. Something you just don't say. And I actually met her on the Bachelor can uh, casting tour uh, at one of the locations, and she was a very nice girl. So I, I don't think that was her personality. I just think she was trying to live in that moment, but not... She could have come, yeah. She should have come clean because we, it did look worse. We have to get to Lisa right now because this was the best part of the night for me uh, when... Uh, uh, Sochelle called her out and said this. She was yelling in the street, I just made out with that bartender so hard, so hard. I, I could start off with a bunch of questions. Yeah, but that's something that you usually don't, I, I've gotten, gotten a lot of flack because there's a lot of people who are saying, well, if Tim's doing it in front of them, why can't she? They uh, sign up for it. Right, but this is the process of what you're going through. At least Tim's doing it openly and honestly in front of the situation and not at a bar. But Lisa finally admitted it. She, she did, and she owned up for it, and I, I really appreciate that from her because she could have sat there and been so defensive and so mean towards the girls, but she took the high road. And the high road is really hard to do sometimes, yeah. but it's the road less traveled when you, re when you come off yeah. after being a villain on the show as being a girl who's actually regretful for the situation yeah. and being kind of sweet and sensitive at the end. I agree. And Tim was in the hot seat, too. This is, uh, having been there before, Dina, yeah, it's not easy. walking out there, it's the most terrifying time, turning around and seeing 13 girls that you used to date. Ready to skewer you. Date in quotation marks. Um, but you know what? He handled himself very well, but I was really surprised that they cut his part in the show down to about five minutes. And there was no real grilling. I feel like there was no grit. There was, yeah, there was no grilling. So that's why they didn't really give him much time. They kind of took it easy on the guy. It's always good, but I really think that the Bachelor Canada people from last night's episode really have to thank Lisa. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because she provided the spice. And the Natalie fuel. said she was going to stir the pot. So I say, Natalie, keep stirring the pot. But then you realize, oh, no, Lisa's the spice of the show. And Natalie's going to take the heat. And she's now the new villain coming off that. Whereas Lisa, I feel, rectified herself. But next week looks amazing. Somebody may be leaving. Somebody but may Natalie be leaving. Natalie was such a, a beloved character during the season that she only really got the bad flack from last night. And I, it's my inclination that she didn't mean to do it. Yeah. But... Dina, yes, Brad. I made out with that girl so hard. So or hard? as an Italian, we would yeah, say. Yeah, what did you tweet last night? Oh, appena baciato lui così difficile, così difficile. That's what Lisa would have said if she was Italian. <laughs> To the Italian it guy was she very made difficult. It was very difficult. Where do you come up? Did you do a Rosetta Stone on this? Mm, Google Translate. That's a first press <laughs> tweeting in Italian. Google Translate. Okay, there you go. Do you want to say uh, over to you, Kev? Buongiorno, Kev. Hey, buongiorno, Kev. Okay, Kevino. Nice. Uh, Kevino.